you will not believe who the tailor is. The tailor is Armani. <laughs> How freaking cool is that? Villager by Armani. Welcome back, guys. Um, I've got the game paused at the moment because I want to talk to you about some stuff and and kind of explain some stuff. Now, I have, I did a, like a, a fair bit of research before I started playing, um, specifically about the barns because there were a lot of complaints about the way the barns worked. And loads of people saying that people will only pick up from the closest barn. Right, that apparently is not true. It, the, and what people are complaining about is much more complicated than that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna change some stuff around. So the the thing is, like if I was to put a barn down here, right? Say so to to improve the production of the fishermen, so that instead of the fish having to be carried all the way up here to this barn, and then they have to come all the way back down here, uh, we put a barn down here, so they just like walk to here. Then, for example, our weaver and our uh, smith would start putting their stuff into this barn, and that means the people over here would have to walk all the way over here to get their, their tools rather than going to this barn in the center. So if I start putting in more barns to improve some things, I'm gonna to have to move other stuff around. So yeah, it, it, it's more complex and I kind of like it actually. So how, how are we gonna like change things? Well, for, oh, and the other thing I need to mention, this well here, somebody, somebody spotted that people were actually getting stuck on this well and I watched it for a bit right and it's true right people occasionally get hung up and they're definitely being slowed down just by the fact that they have to walk around it right so that well we're going to get rid of we're going to move that so uh what do i want i want buildings we're going to move like we're going to change like a bunch of stuff so that goes that well now if i get rid of that well then this bakery doesn't have a well nearby like the closest one is like either this one over here or this one here which is like that one's not like a million miles away but we'd like to like i'd like to do something slightly better than that so what i'm going to do i'm going to change this guy um well, this is i wish you would tell me which which baker is this 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 is the one making hang on if i click on I, is that one highlighted now i can't tell which one's which like, you know, if I close that one down. Yeah, so this is the this is the one do veggie pies. We're gonna swap them around. So I'll have this one do veggie pies. Okay. And then I'm gonna have this one down here making meat pies. Now, hang on a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> Change that around. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one's doing veggie pies. Yeah, 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 that's right. And then this one, I want doing meat pies. Right, okay. Okay, so, so this guy doesn't need water. And what we'll do is we'll put a well in for this guy. So we'll have a well. And we haven't got a well over here anyway, so it's a good idea to put a well in. So we'll put a well. We'll put a well over here, just by the side of the road. Uh, just by the corner of this house. Boom. Awesome sauce. Okay. Um, now, subsequently, I want another baker to go in. Because this is, this, remember, this is Baker Street down here with all the bakers. So we're going to put uh, another baker in. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, do -do -do -do. This is like I'm laying stuff out. So what you flipped around that way. Now, I'm going to put these two bakers like right close together so that I leave a bit of a front garden for this bloke. Uh, so we'll put you in there, right? But I'm going to pause that. So that's paused. So that won't get built. That well, obviously, we do want to get built because this guy needs water. Mind you, he's only got to go like down there at the moment, so it's not it's not horrendous, but it'll be uh, it'll be a bit bit quicker if we put one there. And we need a well over this side anyway, so so that's a good that's a good idea, right? So uh, what else? Right, I want to move. If I want to put a barn down here, I want my uh, my smith and my weaver up here. Now, what? Why? Well. Primarily because currently all of the stuff for them, all the hides, all the flax, all the all the wood and um, the iron and everything is up in this wet. Well, most of it's up in this warehouse or this barn, right? So it makes sense rather than carrying all the stuff down here to have these up here. So what I want, 
do 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 uh, where are we? I want uh, resource gang, here we go. So I want my smith up here. So turn you around. I'm gonna have the smith there, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have my smith there. And again, we're gonna pause that. And then I want my weaver. I'm gonna put my weaver behind there. And I'll leave it. Now, uh, I just need to make sure that the weaver can kind of get there. I'm just wondering if that's a little bit blocked there, but as long as he can walk down here, and I think I've left enough ro room for a road down there, then we can put our weaver in there. Cool. And again, we'll pause that. Cool. So if I'm doing that, now, what I could do is I could put a barn down in this area. Now, this will speed things up in more than one way. Because, for example, if, um, if let's, say, let's say I put a barn here, right? Then, now, I'm going to have to be careful. Because if I, if I put a barn here, right, then I've got to make sure that my flax is grown closer to this building, right? So that the flax gets put in here so that the weaver can get it from here rather than having to walk all the way down to this barn, right? Uh, but it means that the people that live in these houses, for example, um, if they want some food, they don't necessarily have to go to this barn. They can, like if there's some fish in here, or if, or like some, if I put some potatoes or something in here, then they can just go and grab some food from here. But what it does mean is that they won't be getting pies, right? Because they'll be going to this for food rather than going up here. Unless this barn runs out of food, in which case, apparently, they will walk up here and get food from this place, right? We'll see. We'll see. Should we prove this out? I think we probably should. So, um, we've got we've got fishermen here. We've got the farms here. So I think, I think we put a barn here. Well, that's where it's going. So storage barn. Flip you around, and we put a barn in. Now the only problem is, like in the room, because if I put a barn there. There just isn't enough room because <laughs> there are, then we can't have roads either side so there just isn't enough room there so i think the barn's gonna have to go somewhere else now mm, bum, bum, bum. whoops if i flip it around maybe maybe have the barn uh, maybe there actually flipped around the other way Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking we have the barn there, right? Then it's only a relatively short walk for the for the fishermen, and it's a relatively short walk for the farmers. So that should make the fishermen and these at least these two fields a bit more efficient, and it should make the people working in these houses a bit more efficient because they don't have to go so far to get their stuff. Hopefully, and they'll be getting fish and vegetables if I put some uh, like if I put some potatoes in this field, for example. So then they shouldn't get um, a vitaminosis. See, that's the other thing. When you start using multiple barns, like even though they will go to other places or whatever, when apparently, and we'll see, we'll see, uh, we um, we need to make sure that they've got stuff in the closest barn. So we need to make sure that they've got different. So, so there won't be any meat ever in this barn because there's no all the meat will go from the hunters into this barn and from the chickens into this barn. So so that's that. Um, now again, I, I could put a barn over here for this fisherman to speed him up, right? But again, I've got to be careful that see if I put if I put a barn in for here, they're gonna have some fish. But they're not gonna have any meat or vegetables going into that barn. But what I'm thinking is that they're gonna they're gonna run out of the fish and then they'll go up to this barn and get something else is kind of what I'm hoping. I mean, the alternative is that I could maybe provide something. Now, so now I could put the barn a bit further up, right, and try and get the um, the meat from the chickens into this barn, but I don't think so. I don't think so. So, I, I am kind of questioning about this one, but I think I'm going to do it. Now, this barn down here, uh, let's, let's pause that for now. And then, do I put this barn? I think I do put this barn in. 
I think, I think I put this barn in. Now the question is, where can I put this barn in? Oh, now I can, I can squeeze in on the edge there. Can I get it a bit further? Yeah, no, yeah. no. That's that's kind of the best about there. So, now which way round would I want it? Oh, now if I yeah, if I have it that way round. Yeah, if I put it there, I think. Then our fishermen have only got to walk to there. Now that's a hell of a difference walking to there rather than having to walk all the way up there. So it should make our fishermen like a lot more productive. Right, now the only question is, if I put that barn in there, um, I want to build a, a port so that we can go and do expeditions. And this would, I think, would be a good place for it. But I just want to make sure that, that barn's not in the way. So we're kind of laying stuff out. So, do, 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 where are, here we go. For shipbuilding. Ha ha ha, for expeditions. Let's flip you around. Now, can I get this in here? That's the question. Oh, do, 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 do. Uh, oh that's... I don't, I don't know whether that will go. Oh. You'll go. You'll go there, but you won't go there. Oh, dear. Um, let's... Have a bit of a bit more top-down view. So, oh, hang on, you'll go there. You won't go there. Well, that's okay because there's room for a road in front of that building. So, boom, that is where our port is going to go. Okay, sweet. All right, so let's get that. Let's get that put in there. Okay, is there is there anything else I want to change around? So I'm going to get rid of these guys. They'll move up there. And uh, did it do now? I want like to be honest. I could do with. I, I'm just wondering about this because I, I, I could put like a barn over here to make this more efficient. But I think I want that stuff brought into into this barn. It's not that far away. So uh, now I'm thinking. Well, what about labourers to work in here? And I'm kind of thinking like I maybe want a house over here. Do I build another house? Ah, that's a very good question. I think ultimately, I am going to have another house there. So, yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll kind of put it in for now. I might change my mind about this house, but we'll see. Did it do, do, do. So, I, uh, that's the right way around. So, where would we want you? We'd want you. Uh, the thing is, I'd like people to be able to get through here. So, maybe I put it there. That leaves a little gap. Now. Uh, do I have it right on there? I think we can have it right on there. So, there. Okay. I think that would work. Right, we'll pause that. Okay. What I'm going to do now is, um, is get on with doing some of this stuff. Because, like, moving this up here and... Like getting this stuff done, it's, it's all going to take like quite a while. So I'm going to get on and do that, and then we'll come back to it when some of this is stuff uh, stuff has been moved, and then hopefully the village will be a bit more efficient, and then we can get on to kind of expanding and building some more stuff, which would be more interesting. Okay, so let me get on with it. Okay, we've gone from spring just to late winter, right? So we've only gone about six months or so. I have got so much to show you. I have learned so much. But first, I've got to show you who the tailor is. You will not believe who the tailor is. The tailor is... Uh -huh. Armani. <laughs> How freaking cool is that? Villager by Armani. Today's villager is dressing in... Uh, shabby, ripped, torn, nasty, horrible dress. In, um, in, in a beautiful shade of... of crappy grey. <laughs> oh, oh man. Who's going to be the cobbler? Gucci? Louboutin? Who the hell knows? Right. Um, <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. Armani being the tailor. I've wanted Armani to be the tailor ever since Armani was born. Oh man. Okay. Where, like, where the hell should we start? Um, let's start with the fact that we've got almost 4,000 vegetables. Um, We've got 800 meat. And look at this. We've got 200 fish. We have not had fish in stock like forever. 
right, since the beginning of the game. Now, you might think, well, it's because you've put these barns in, right? Um, but it's not, it's, it's a whole bunch of things together, I think. It's putting these barns in, that's definitely helped, and it's certainly helped the fishermen, no end, right? Um, taking this well out has been a good thing, and I've put, I've put, um, like, I've put, like, a little bit of, uh, of paved road, only, like, a, like, a few squares, nothing major. Um, but, but there are other things that, uh, I've done which make a big impact. Um, okay. Playing in first person mode makes a huge difference to the performance of your villages, right? All of the buildings, oh, by the way, we've built all of the buildings that I wanted to build, except one, which I've decided I don't want to build anymore, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so this, um, this house over here, that's got built. Um, we've got the, uh, we've got the weaver is up here now. The tailor, uh, not, no, no, that is the tailor. Um, the, the smithy is up there now. We've got that built. We've got these two barns built. Like, everything that I wanted to do got done, right? Oh, I still, I keep meaning, <laughs> I keep meaning to put a, um, a scarecrow up here. And I keep blooming forgetting. Did it, did, did not like not that it makes a whole hell of a lot of difference at the moment. Everything's going great, but I'll I'll do that while I think about it because I keep forgetting to do that. Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Um, now where am I going to put my scarecrow? That's a very good point. Did it? Did, 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 do I put him? Kind of. I want to put him kind of. Well, I was going to put him there, but then they've got like if they come out this door for any reason, they've got to kind of. Do let's put him. Let's put him there. Yeah, I think there is probably the best place to put him. Yeah. Um, now, do I want him, like, that way around? Oh, and we've got a pumpkin head. I like pumpkin head. Right, pumpkin head is going in there. Cha-ching. Okay, well, you know what? I'll now demonstrate one of the things that I've been doing. So, so what I've been doing is, um, is grabbing a teenager. And uh, I've, I've used several teenagers who've now kind of grown up. But we've got we've got kind of a a clutch of teenagers. I need to build a new house. I need to build a new house. Get some more kids coming in. Um, we'll do that. In, well, I think we'll do that in a second. But what I've been doing huh? is um, it's grabbing a teenager and then doing loads of stuff with uh, with the teenagers. Like all the buildings have been built just by teenagers, right? Now using the horn, like look at the difference in speed. Look, I mean, wow, wow, <laughs> it's crazy how fast they are with um, with the horn. And it boosts all your villages. And I didn't realise, like, how big of a boost it is. It's a huge boost. I've got kind of got lost. <laughs> We're by the, this is a storehouse over here. I, I really know the village pretty well now. Because I've been, I've spent so much time running around. Now, the thing is, trying to, like, get the right spot to build this. Oh, here, uh, no, that's open inventory, no. That's not what I want. Oh, come on. Give me the spot. It's very difficult to build these. I'm, I might pass on this because anything that's like one square is very difficult to find. Oh, they've got to bring the stuff first. Ah, no wonder it won't give me the build option. Idiot. Now, this is, this is something that I've been doing. I've actually, I won't do it for this. But I've actually been bringing the resources to different places. I tell you what, while they're doing that, I'll go and do something else. First of all, I'll go and kill this fox. And I've been using the sword rather than the bow. Because you can use the sword after you've tooted your horn. You can't use your bow. Right, but for example... Um, okay, pause for a second. Let me show you. Um, actually, oh, I, this, is a good, this is a very good example. Now... You remember, um, we've got, we're using eggs in this one uh, to make vegetable pies, right? And I thought that this entrance was closest to this barn so that the eggs would go to this barn. <laughs> oh, no, they don't. Look, no eggs, right? Why? Because, I suppose, because the centre of the field is closest to this barn. All the eggs are going to this barn now. How does that suck? 
Um, and I'm, uh, I'm kind of really not sure what to do about that. I may end up moving this barn. Maybe, maybe I don't know, like over here or something. Out of the way. Um, and this barn is, not only is it closest to that, but it's also closest to this little group of buildings over here, apparently. So this is actually getting uh, meat and vegetables and all that kind of stuff coming in here. Which is like kind of sort of okay because these people can get their food from this barn which like speeds everything up which is good right and if this is closer than that barn well that's good for these guys i suppose um but it's kind of not great for the egg situation but what you can do uh, who was i using i was using uh, no that's jean who the hell was i using i can't remember now i was using calio wasn't i where are you there you are right what we can do is we can take Calio um, down to this barn, right down here. Do, 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 do. And I have been doing this. And going down to this barn, opening the inventory, grab some eggs. Do, 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 do. Toot on the horn so that we move very fast. Then go up here and interact. And it drops the eggs off right at the bakery. Right, so you don't have to move them to the other barn. You can take them direct to the bakery. Do, 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 do. Open the inventory. Get the eggs. Now, whether you whether you like doing this or whether you're like okay with this or happy with this is going to kind of depend on on how you feel about micromanaging uh, your resources or mi or micromanagement in general. I've actually been freaking loving it so far. Now, can I see a point where this is going to get like like super tedious? I can, and I can understand why a lot of people would find this super tedious. But I've actually been absolutely loving it, and I kind of—I'm oh, stuck inside the bond. Sometimes you get when when it animates to pick something up, you find yourself on the wrong side of the wall. Oh, take on, ow, and then into here. Oh, come on, interact drop off the eggs and the thing is all the time that I'm doing this as long as I keep tooting the horn it increases the the output of like the entire village and it's like by a lot if you do it for like a for like a fair amount of time so you've just got to remember to keep um, keep tooting your horn every so often uh, come on. interact and Last load. Back over here. Into the barn. Oh, no. There's another load. Because presumably the guy's brought some eggs down here. <laughs> God. So that's the only thing. Now, like, once you get up to, like, a lot more villages than I've got, would you want to be messing around with this? No, you wouldn't. Oh. I just dropped the resource, which I didn't want to do. Can I pick it up again? Or did he actually drop it inside the building? I think he actually dropped it inside the building, so it's okay. Right. Um, Toots on the horn. Pause. So, um, so yeah, that's how... Like, I've seen comments from people saying, God, I, I wish you could, like, move stuff around and whatever. Now, you can. You can set up, um, like, donkey routes later, right? But if you do need to move stuff, you can move it around like that. So, um, so that's one thing that I've been doing. And, of course, now, this, um, this baker... Has, look, he's got 59 eggs in stock. Which makes him more efficient. Which is fantastic, except for one little thing. For some reason, this seems... In fact, I'll, I'll let it run. This seems to have like completely stopped producing flour. Either that, or it's producing flour very, 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 very slowly. And I've got to say, I don't understand why. Now, I thought at first that it's just that I'm boosting the performance of everything else so much that because this is a this is a timed thing the sorry this one because this is a timed thing it just is what it is um but i don't know about that it kind of it, it really doesn't make a lot of sense why like everything else is working brilliantly uh and the the flour mill like the guy's just gone back in there this starts turning and then it'll produce Oh, now it's stopped. Why have you stopped? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's... I, seriously, I, everything else is working beautifully. The windmill? Pff, I don't know. 
But because of that, we're not getting enough flour to keep our, uh, our, our bakeries running at this like incredible pace. But yeah, other than that, seriously, everything is flying. Um, like I said, at 4,000 vegetables, we've got loads of meat and fish. Uh, I have been doing some uh, some hunting. I haven't got my I haven't got my um, hunters out because I've just been using them as, as laborers because it's better for me to hunt and just have them bring the resources in because their hunting is is pretty average. So um, so yeah, so that's that. And now we're into early spring. Oh my god, it's time to get our farmers back again. Oh, and I need to show you the orchard, don't I? Look, look at the orchard. We've made progress. Oh, look at our little fruit trees. And they're actually really nice little trees. I l love the whole... I mean, the models in general in this game are really nice. I mean, again, I, I wouldn't say... I said this like right at the beginning, I think in episode one. I wouldn't describe this as a beautiful game. But I tell you what, once you spend a bit of time on it, it does grow on you. Okay, so, um, now, have we got... Uh, oh, look, we're starting to get fruit! Ha, 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 ha! Awesome! A thousand... A thousand apples we can get this year. Oh, awesome freaking sauce. And I can't wait for them to, to kind of get, like like ripe and ready to be picked because that is something that you can do manually. Now, if you're digging in the fields, the, it's quite a long animation and it, it's really boring and, and that's not something that I would do manually. But picking the fruit off the trees is, is a really quick animation. So you could like run up and down here and actually pick this field like really quickly. So um, we might just do that, we might just do that. Oh, they, they've, they've, all the stuff's there for that. Should we, should we build that, which is what like where we started out? Let's do that. Where's um, where's Calliope? Oh, Calliope has grown up now. Oh, I need to find a new teenager to use. Oh, Kinsley. Now, the thing is, what I've been doing is I've been looking at them, uh -huh. right, and seeing, ah, have they got the educated? Right, Kinsley's, they, they become uh, adults at six, right, but they seem to get educated very quickly, or at least the kids living in this house, because it's like virtually next door to the school, have got educated very, very quickly. So now, we, between now and when she becomes an, uh, an adult, we can use Kinsley to do like all of our building, moving resources around, hunting, all kinds of stuff. Um, and while you're doing it, keep tooting your horn, and your village just goes into overdrive. It's awesome. So, Kinsley, let's, um, well, let's start with a toot on the horn, shall we? Right, off we go. Past the pyre. Oh, oh, up here to uh, to this field and up here. And now, can I? Can I? Am I going to get the build icon? Oh, come on! It is difficult with it when it's like one square. It, it's very difficult to find. Like every other building is really easy, but these anything that's one square. Oh, there we go. Found it. Keep tooting the horn. Keep building. Now, it does take a while um, to build buildings, but I don't know, I've, I've found it like really relaxing. I've really enjoyed it, like seriously. Some people will be sitting there going, there is no way that you can find this like interesting. Or... But I have, because at the same time as you're doing this, oh, I think we just had a chicken die. Um, pause. Let's jump out of here. We had a chicken get killed, I think. Yeah, chicken. I've, um, now let me let me just scroll back through here. I have put in um, a few bits of road. I put a few bits of road going up to the uh, up to the weaver and along the side of there and down here. So that's what all these roads built are. Did it do? And then before that, oh look, Kinsley, Kinsley that's what we were using. Only just only just grown up to study and already educated. Did it do, do, do uh, baby born? But I built the blacksmith, another baby. Lost a chicken, another baby. Built the small house. Yeah, so not a whole lot. That building that was destroyed it was me knocking down um, this this bit of fence over here and putting a gate back in so that people can walk through here. That's what that was. Uh, anything else? Uh, another chicken. And that is about it. Yeah, that's about it. 
Um, yeah, that's about it. There we go. So there you go. Let's go back over to... Oh, no. Uh, I've got to find out what's killing my chickens. Who's in there? Uh, oh, it's that wolf there. He's, he's sneaking out. He's leaving the scene of the crime. Huh? Let's grab uh, Sean. Sean, how are you with a... Oh, you can't use your bow. Okay. Um, let's whiz around the corner here and we'll just stab it. Oh, you need to drop your resource. What are you carrying? He's carrying a bit of wood, I think, by the look of it. Or some firewood. Quick, kill the wolf. Kill it. Stab it. Nah. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's go back over here. We'll pick up your pick up your resources again. Teeth on the horn. Get out of you. Pause. Now, we need to find Kinsley again. Where's Kinsley? Do 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 Kinsley, where are you? Do, do, do. The other thing is you get to know the people in your village quite well as well, which is kind of good. Oh, Kinsley's raced over here. No, Kinsley, we're going back to finish the building on this scarecrow. Now, I need to be this side by, by the look of things. Oh, now, where is it? This there. Come on, come on, give me the build. Yeah, there it is. Now, what this does mean is that, like, just doing this kind of thing doesn't make for, like, particularly exciting video, right? So what I'm going to have to do is do this kind of stuff like off camera and then when you guys are around I don't know we'll, we'll do other stuff we'll we'll kind of lay things out and look at new buildings and, and plan where we're gonna have stuff and, and stuff like that is what I was thinking so oh hang on a second before we do anything else pause because because I do need to reallocate people so I need to get my uh, I need to get my farmers going don't I yes I do do, do, do. So let's get my farmers going. Uh, so I need six people in this field. That's going to be potatoes. Now, I want some veggies in this barn down here. And we're not getting any vegetables down here. So um, what we'll do... Uh, how's the flower situation? The, the, sorry, the grain situation. The grain situation is still okay. So what we'll do... I want to make sure that we get um, flax up in this barn. There is no point having flax down here. That would be... That would be really bad news so what I think we're gonna do is have um, potatoes in there yeah did it do I need to make sure it's closest to that okay we'll have now it's, it's this middle field which one's that middle field closer to is it closer to that or is, I see I think that is closer to that which is kind of not good so I think what we'll do is we'll have um, we'll have potatoes in this one. We'll have well, yeah, yeah potatoes. Okay. Plus, no, this is going to be this is going to be flax in here. Oh, the thing is, I need oats as well. Oh man. I mean, I've got a fair amount of oats, but I need more. So I think what we're I think what we're going to have to do. I think we're going to have to have uh, oats growing there. So I don't want to have to. I don't want to keep moving stuff around, and I don't want my chicken farmer to have to go down to there to get the oats, which is what would happen. So yeah, man, this is the thing: multiple barns. You have to like plan out like what's closest to what and where you want things. And but it kind of makes it interesting. So what did I say? This is going to be this is going to be the oats. That's fine. This is going to be flax then. Okay. Um, now grass. Grass will be put, grass turns into hay, and hay is put into the warehouse, right? And we've only got one warehouse, which is up there. And it's also fast growing. Um, so I think, could we do with some hay? Yeah, I think we could do with some hay. So we'll have hay in this one. So grass. Okay. Come on. Okay, thank you. And put a person in there. Cool. And then these two, we'll have uh, potatoes, and we'll pop them in, pop the potatoes in there, which should be awesome. Oh, and by the way, with playing in first person and doing the horn tooting, they cleared these fields, no problem, no problem at all. So we'll have potatoes in there. Oh, I didn't put a person on it. There we go, and we'll have some potatoes in here. But um, and yeah, put a person on it. Cool. So, those potatoes are going to go into there, the grass will go into the warehouse, and the oats and the flax will go into that barn. Alrighty! Sweet! So that means I need to allocate 11 farmers. 
um, 11 farmers. Cool. Uh, do they do? I can uh, allocate my gatherers as well. Oh, but that's it. That's all the people I've got. Now, I could take um, take a couple of people out of the mines. Yeah, I'll take a couple of people out of the mines. Just so I've got a couple of labourers. The summer is the summer is just about getting the crops in. It's getting the crops in. It's doing the gathering. And then the winter time is when you kind of actually like really do stuff. So, uh, let's see. What was that? Oh, I was building that thing, wasn't I? You'll, you'll still be over there, won't you? Where are you? Yeah, there you are. Kinsley. So let's grab Kinsley again. And we'll keep building. Keep tooting the horn. This isn't going to take very long to build. And then we'll kind of talk about like what like what we're going to do next. And then I'll probably get like the majority of it done between this episode and the next episode. But like I'm guessing that the next episode we're actually going to be able to get like tons and tons done. Which we haven't been able to before. So I, I think the whole thing's going to go into like a completely different gear. And I'm, and I'm going to be able to do things like um, put in like lots more stone roads because I can harvest loads of stone now. Um, I was going to get house built, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be a good thing. Keep taking on. Da -da. Come on, get this damn thing built. It's only a blooming little scarecrow. I don't, I don't know how much build work goes into this, but hang on, how much build work goes into this? Just, just have a little look. It's probably more than I think. Oh my god, it's ten! Wow! Okay. Yeah, more, more work than I thought goes into this. I mean, like, I, 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 don't, I mean, a barn's only like six. So it's like six, six building work to put up a barn. It's ten to build a scarecrow. How the hell does that work? Uh, it's it's amazing the difference that, that tooting the horn all the time makes to your villagers. They just like they get so much done. Oh, and of course the other thing that's improved our productivity is the fact that we're now educating our people. So that's another boost. And when you put like all of those things together, fixing the well so people aren't getting hung up, tooting the horn, education, the bonds, you put it all together and suddenly we're doing loads of stuff. Right, there you go. And that's it. Pause. Is that, is that all done? Yep. All done. Sweet. So this is going to grow. How are we doing with our apples? Oh, we're up to 55 apples already. We're still in early spring. We're flying. Absolutely flying. Right. What are we going to do next? You do need to be a little bit careful in the winter that um, that people don't die of high... That, that the person you're using doesn't die of hypothermia. You have to let them go home and swap over to somebody else and let them get warm and stuff. And uh, you have to make sure that, they, that they've that they eaten, obviously. Up in the top right-hand corner. Um, so, I don't know. What are we going to do next? I, I suppose. Get another house built, maybe. Look, look at the village. It's really growing now. And I was really worried about expanding the population. But now, I'm like, the more population, the better, really. Um, am I going to do that? house now I'm, I'm definitely not putting this in although look the flowers come back a bit now wow okay that's impressive um but i'm still not putting this extra bakery in that's what i'm gonna leave it there like just in case and we'll see what happens to the flower because like maybe it was like a temporary glitch or something i don't know um what else can i do so a house like, where else can i put a house in is the question and where do we want workers um, we've got two houses there, right, which is going to be like about eight people, um, which is enough for the worker, for the people in here and in here. Oh, this is another thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't told you about this. Right. Getting people in the right houses, I've kind of figured out how to do it. So, for example, um, the fishermen, right, when I looked, when I put the fishermen in, the fishermen were living all over the place, right? And now, if you look, the fishermen... Two of them are in here, in this house. And then two of them, are, and, the, and the other one's in here, I think. Yeah, 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 Mikhail, that's right. Um, and I did that, I forced them into that. Same over here, right? We I, we'd want the fishermen living here. And guess what? Look, all three I got into this one. <laughs> um, now, 
the way you do it, and the same with the blacksmith. The blacksmith was living over here somewhere. And now, where does the blacksmith live? Let's have a look. Uh, the blacksmith. Uh -huh. Isha is the blacksmith. Where does Isha live? Isha lives right next door. Perfect. And the way you do it is, okay, like, like, just, oh, like, where's a, where's a specific, okay. So let's say the millers, okay. Let's, um, let's see, where are our millers living? I hope they're living a long way away. We'll see. Do, 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 millers, millers, millers. Uh, here's our millers. Mm -hmm. Where do our millers live? Oh, Leonidas. Leonidas is a miller. Where do you live, Leonidas? So you're living over there. Which is that's probably not a bad place, actually. Where's the other one? Let's see. So, what did I say? We had Leonidas mm. and Bo. Where do you live, Bo? Please live a long way away. Oh, no. You're living right next door. That's no, that's no use. Well, what I would do is um, is take take the, take the people off the job. So, like, take this down to zero. So, nobody is, like, whatever. And then... Um, take control of whoever you want to take over the, the job and then move them to that building. So you so go into first person, move the, them as a labourer to that building and then pause it, come out and assign it, uh, assign a, a person to that, to, to that profession. And it seems to always pick that person, who, like the labourer who's closest. So there you go. That's uh, that's how I've been forcing people to live close to their jobs, and that's obviously going to make a big difference as well. So, this is why things have really turned around. Now, longer term, if we go out on this road that we've got going out here, right? We've got this road that goes out to here. I would really like to put a bridge going across here onto this kind of peninsula. If, if you look on the map up here. Um, it's this peninsula that sticks out here, like this. But it's kind of, it's kind of perfect for like a, a really nice sized village. So what I was thinking of doing was having a bridge that goes across there and then have like a, a central barn and warehouse. Now apparently the barn has a range, um, like, for, like how far will people go to a barn? Apparently the range is 150 tiles. Right now, this across this island across. If I if I go to roads, and we um, we like to see how far across this is. This is about 150. I mean, it kind of varies a bit. But it's about 150 tiles across ish, right? Which means that if we put a barn and a warehouse in the centre, then it's only 75 tiles to get there. So it's kind of the perfect size for a village. Which means that we could have like um, some like some fishermen round the all around the outside, uh, with barns obviously close to them, and then up the top end, right, we'll we'll have um, uh, foresters and and stuff like that going on. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking that could be really nice. And I don't know, maybe we'll do something. Maybe we'll put in, in a, like a keep or something. Although I like I I want to build a big castle. Um, but I think the the big castle needs to be kind of up here somewhere. I'm thinking like pretty like pretty much the center of the island. I'm, I'm thinking like kind of over here, a big ass castle, and like do some terraforming and actually raise it up and maybe even have a moat all around it and not with water but like like a, a sunken moat. So there you go, loads and loads and loads to do. Next episode, I need to get. Well, I was, you know what? I was just about to say I need to get some more ore. Just while we've been faffing around, putting that in, right, we've got like a couple of hundred ore. So now we can get this built. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, easily. We've got, yeah, we've got everything we need. We could do with a bit more stone. Um, but yeah, not a problem. Right, next episode, guys, we get the port in and we, we send off an expedition and hopefully get some, uh, some more animals. Cattle, uh, pigs, sheep, who knows? Could be, could be anything. That's going to be really exciting. But uh, seriously, guys, this is this has gone to a whole new level for me now. I am loving it. Expect lots more of this. Expect like much faster progress now. I will catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Peace out. <laughs>